WMWA, you've seen a lot of uh, stables come and go here. And I've never been part of a stable beforehand, and I've never thought anything of them. The, the stables that have come through WMWA have been a joke at best. Let, let's go through the small list. Let's go through the large list of the groups that we've seen in WMWA. We'll start with Throwdown. They were, they were a face stable. Someone explain that one to me. Uh, they're wannabe NWO guys. They're all unathletic. None of them could wrestle. Big C, Edward Vapor. I don't even remember the rest of the members. But the whole group was stupid. It was a failure. It was a cancer to WMWA, and I'm glad it was gone. Then you had the Alliance, which was Dawson and Bill's way of just trying to get some new guys and have them do all the work. I guess you could say Drake became a star out of it, whatever. We never saw Danger Dave again, whatever. And of course, you know, we got everything gets gets rehashed over and over again. So we'll come back with new throwdown. Yeah, they're the same group, only with different fat people in it this time. <laughs> Instead of Edward Vapor, we have Drake. We still have Big C. Angel's in the group, only he doesn't give a fuck, so they kick him out. My man Aaron Douglas did all the fucking work for the group. If it wasn't for Aaron Douglas, that group would have would have lasted two months. Then we had uh, next to Ken, which actually did some impressive things here, but there there was too many people on that group that were dead weight. He's talking about Evan Payne, who has no wrestling ability whatsoever. God clearly hated Evan Payne when he made him because yeah, he's got some height, but he's pasty as fuck and he's got no wrestling ability at all. Okay, and then uh, you got Joey Rancid, who's kind of a joke. So Joey can, you know, just whatever. He, no one cares about him. These three men were the bread and butter of Next of Kin, and that's not a that's not a mistake. That's the way it was. So I took these three men and Ace Armani, and I saw something in each and every one of them. Aaron Douglas. Aaron Douglas has been used and abused through his three years of WMWA by others. That's not going to happen anymore. This kid has been here for over 70 shows and he's never missed a show. He's been here for over three years. His dedication is unmatched. You will never see another wrestler in WWE with the level of dedication that this man has. That you man have preaching. You, you have back to the thrift store. And he's not here today, but Ace Armani, that man was greener than grass when he got here two years ago. That man could not wrestle to save his life. And you know what? It's not completely his fault. They just, WMW officials, Brian O'Lynn just threw him in the ring because he was a body. And then, you know, he figured out what he was doing. And a year later, the man was having a great match every week with Humberto, Torque, you name it. He was out there putting on a great show for everybody to come see WMW main event caliber matches. So, Armani, you've improved by leaps and bounds. He was the most improved wrestler of the year in 2012. The man's a crusader. He's an absolute crusader. Then we got this man right here, CJ Price. We got CJ Price. Now CJ Price comes into WWE 2009. He does his best to make a name for himself. Then he gets unceremoniously fired in 2010. And then he comes back to the most locker room heat I've ever seen since Chad Viper in 2005 in WMWA. Look that motherfucker up. And he comes back and he, he just puts out phenomenal match after phenomenal match. And you, you get all these moments, you get, you get Humberto and Aaron Douglas winning the Wrestle of the Year. Well, I can tell you this could do for a Wrestle of the Year trophy. So be watching for him and watch his matches before you vote because I guarantee you at the end of the year you won't be voting against him. Then you got this man, the hybrid champion. This man, this man couldn't get a match on the show a year, two years ago. He was only, the first match he ever got was only because somebody didn't show up. And then this man, you can't have a show without him. You can't have a show without this man. This man is a student of the game. He learns, he watches video, he ain't got time to fuck around. He's at home watching matches. He's studying his opponents watching matches. He's learning new shit. Student of the game means something else to him. And then they get no respect, all right? These four men I just talked about, they're just like me. They, they put their craft, their time, and effort into WMWA, and then only to, to what? To be back? You know, mid-card matches to guys like Dave Dawson and Eric Drake and Humberto. Fuck those guys. These are WMWA wrestlers. This is WMWA. We are the resurgence, and nobody can stand Woo. against us. And it's not about winning every every match. You know, they lost the six-man tag last week, but it was a phenomenal match. It was a workhorse match, absolutely. But it's not about winning every match here. It's right. It's about being better than everyone else. 
And I stand behind these three men and Ace Armani 120%. It's all about us, it's all about the resurgence. You got the heavyweight champion, you got the hybrid champion, and I can guarantee you, I bet my fucking career on it, that one of these guys will win the Supreme Invitational this year, and he'll beat, whatever, Humberto Ramos for the title. Humberto's a joke. Dave Dawson was a joke. His commissioner's reign is a joke. I can't take it anymore. So these guys have agreed with me. They're all getting fucked around by Guamish Dragon. And then these guys had the wrestle error trade. That's a fucking, that's just a joke. I'm tired of this. We're running the show today. We're not taking orders from anybody. Anybody we want to wrestle today, we're gonna to wrestle. And I don't feel like wrestling, so I'm not wrestling today. I'm the heavyweight champion. I pick and choose when I wrestle. I will defend the title at Retribution because I am that damn fucking awesome. I beat Adrian last week, who's not here today. I wonder why. Because I fucked him up pretty damn good. He didn't even tap out to me. He passed out. That's how devastating my Texas Cloverleaf is. For all you newbies who want a fucking piece of the champ. Just know that you're going to tap. Anyone else got something else to say? We cover all the bases here, boys? Get the fuck out of here, huh? Woo! Yay!